Hi, I'm the Crypto Lifer. I hope you're having a great day, afternoon, night, or morning, no matter where you are in the world. And thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to do a deep dive into DOT, Polkadot, that's right. It's worked its way up into the top 10 already. Can you believe it? Such a new coin, a lot of use cases, a big fan base, and a lot coming. And I want to tell you why. I believe it'll be a $400 coin in the next bull run. And let's take a deep dive, and I'm going to show you why I think DOT will go to $400 a coin. Check it out. When I look at DOT here at number nine on coin market cap, it's coming in at $4.37. And it has a market cap of $3.8 billion with $306 million trade in the last 24 hours. Pretty impressive that it's already at number nine for being such a new coin, okay? Now we're going to break down uh, Litecoin and juxtapose the two and show you what happened to Litecoin in the last bull run. And why I think the same thing can happen to a coin this high with this much of a market cap already established on the way to a bigger, bigger market cap as the entire market moves in the next bull run. So this is exciting. If you're excited, please hit the like button. Please comment and uh, let's get into it because I'm excited about this deep dive. So at 61.68 Litecoin, right? $4 billion market cap and $2.5 billion traded Wow, that's amazing. A lot more volume on Litecoin than Polkadot. Very interesting. So that already tells you Polkadot has a lot of room to move. Litecoin, one of my favorite coins, got into it around $5, but bought majority of my Litecoin between 30 and 50 and then loaded it into the bull run. Uh, I love Litecoin. It gave me a lot of love. So just I love Litecoin. Now let's look at the historical data. And I want to look at the all-time data on Litecoin, which will take a second to load, but when it does, we can kind of deep dive into how Litecoin moved in the 2017 bull run, <clears throat> where it was, where it is now in comparison. We'll go back into 2016 and October, because I feel like this is where we are right now, okay? This is where we are, similar area. And you can see Litecoin was coming in at $3.75 that fall. And it had a volume of 3.7 million. And it had such a tiny market cap, look, of 187 million. Interesting, right? Now, of course, it would grow a little bit and get up there, but never too big. You know, volume of $5 million. And obviously, the cryptocurrency market itself was smaller. So you remember, this next move is going to be similar in ratio. Even though we're way bigger, we're going to get even bigger. As in comparison and I think the move is going to be as substantial if not more than what I'm going to show you that happened in 2017 so when we look at Litecoin now as we got into November it hovered around this four dollar region and then I just want to bring it to where it basically 439 right that's about the price of dot 437 even in December of 2016 that was about the price of dot obviously way smaller of a market cap but like I said before, that ratio, I think, is going to be... So I'm including that idea. So you could say, hey, 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 it has a smaller market cap. And I understand that. But I'm telling you that the market here, like the overall crypto market cap, went from 90, 90 million all the way to a trillion. <clears throat> now we're sitting at, you know, <clears throat> very close to half a trillion. And we're going to go that 10... You know, we're going to go into the one to the two, three trillion dollar market cap, in my opinion. So... Next bull run, we easily surpass two. I think it's possible we surpass three trillion dollars. Now let's take a look back where we were. December sixteenth, December sixteenth here three no, uh, December twenty seventh even four thirty seven. So that's where Dot is now. So then we get to March thirty first here in the spring of two thousand seventeen, and we can see the pop of Litecoin to seven bucks. Now the day before four eighteen. Just the day before, it had made that leap in one day. You can see, big jump. It hadn't been $7 ever, ever, ever. It just all of a sudden decided that March 31st, isn't that funny? Last day of March, it pops. And the volume, we almost get to $100 million. And we get to a market cap of $336 million. And you can see it just starts to get bigger. Like, it's now doubled since March 10th, right? Now, I showed you even recently now, the market cap of Litecoin has gone up by 30%. Uh, 
That should tell you something because right here, look, here's a double up almost, right? We went from 180 to about 330. Here's 350. So you can say that's the closest. And that was in under a month from March 1st, March 10th to April 1st. So you could see the bull run was heating up well in the spring, even before we got into what everyone calls the major bull run of 2017. So it continued to grow into late November and then the 90s. Then we hit that 100. And once we broke 100, it was kind of it. Um, it never really looked back and just began to grow. Look, a market cap now, $16 billion at one point, volume of $3.4 billion in one day. So this is what can happen to this market. We can see an influx like you've never seen. And that little Litecoin that was sitting at $5, you know, not too long before that. Like, let's just see when you could got it for, in May, July. When's the last time you could have gotten that cheap? Like February in the same year, basically the last time would have been March, late March. So you're talking April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, eight months to turn $5, $5 into $300. Like that's absolutely insanity, right? It would top off at 420. Market cap says no. Market cap, I don't see the 400s here when I really look at it, but it would. It would eventually top out around, 100, uh, around $420 a coin, right? At its peak, we can find its peak here on coin market cap. It's going to say December 13th um, at $341. I think that's the highest we see it. And, you know, these are in just huge, huge trading volume. $2 billion a day, $16 billion market cap. This thing became a juggernaut. So the market cap 16 x even more, really, if we look at where it went. Because we're going to take this ratio and compare it. Because that's what we want to look at. So we're going to take that market cap from that last chance to buy it. We'll, we'll give it a little breathing room. 200 million, we'll say. So 200 million is, is good to me. And then it went we, we all the way to $16 billion. Absolutely insanity, in my opinion. Right? So <clears throat> how much X is the market cap of that? Let's see, well, that's, you know, 200 into 1 billion is 5, right? And then 5 times 16 is 50 and 8 is 80, right? And so 80x on that market cap. So remember that. So 80x on the market cap, 5 times 20, it made the price basically 60x. It did at 80x because it went from 5 to $400, so the price did, um, it did actually go in some, yeah, because 20x would be 100, because 5 times 20 is 100. Yeah, so the, it did 80x, basically. So that's what we're looking at, an 80x, okay? So, dot. Now we're going to just keep moving. Eventually we did flop, of course. Litecoin bottomed in that 30, 28, $28, I think was the, the very, very low and we're still kind of creeping out of a bear market in a way, which is very interesting to see after all the ups and downs for Litecoin. Now, 65, $2.8 billion traded a day, which is pretty outrageous now. And it's, but it's far more well-established than Polkadot. And at $4.2 billion market cap. <clears throat> so Litecoin... You know, could easily get back to 16 and some. And at that point, it would 4x, bringing it up to, you know, 240, 250. And this isn't about Litecoin, though. It's about DOT. So when we get to the present moment for Polkadot, sitting here at 454, and we see the volume at 337, knowing that could easily become a $2.5 billion volume. And if that moves that much, right? 3x, if it can get to 1 billion. 6x, if it can get to 2. And 2.5, that's about like an 8x, right? Which would take this price to $32. And that would just be the starting off point for Polkadot to start achieving, you know, a larger price. Now, the market cap is bigger. Um, I do have to take that into account. So maybe not 400, but I think we could easily get to $280 for Polkadot. So I think Polkadot could get to $280 
somewhere in the bull run. And you know what? If DeFi takes off and we get to a four, five trillion dollar, what if the whole world changes and things really start to move differently for crypto? Uh, we could see this definitely get to 400. It would have to get to a very large market cap, though, because that would be a very large. That would be extremely uh, insane for it. Right. So what's my last call on this? My last call is Polkadot could easily reach $200 a coin, possibly 280. 400 is a stretch, but it's also a possibility if we could see the entire space grow in, in a very large manner, which I think we're going to get to $3 trillion. I don't know about 4 or $5 trillion, but I definitely think we're going to get to $3 trillion. We got to basically $900 billion, a trillion dollars in the last bull run. We have way more money, way more people, way more attention. Uh, the world is in more of a monetary shamble than it was. We have way more countries with their fiat fiats and whatever currency they're using in the lowest form it's ever been in. Uh, we have gold at the highest prices in contrast to a lot of these fiats showing that they're very weak, really. That's what it shows. And that really is just a starting off point, a jumping board for cryptocurrencies to really make their stake in the world and take over. Please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Let me know how you feel. I'd love to talk to you. Join my Telegram group in the link below. So that's it. I hope you were here for the whole video. I appreciate it. if you were. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find out when I post my next video. And remember, if you came to my channel, then you're already doing the right thing. Crypto is life. Peace.